Hello everybody. I'm Merle, M. Singer, the Relationship Miracle Worker. I've been married over 50 years to the same man, happily. Well, there was that year in 19, but, but yeah, we'll talk about that another time. And, and I figure if I can have a successful marriage for over 50 years, even allowing for that year, <laughs> I probably know something about relationships. But you know, what's going on today is, well, COVID-19 has taken up so much energy that we have hardly any left. And then there's this really unjust death murder of an innocent black man by uh, a white policeman. And you know, if well, the race matters and it doesn't matter. It matters because there's prejudice. It doesn't matter because people against people, it's murder, it's, it's not. So anyway, I thought I'd tell you about my past experience. I actually have experience with the police department. I was the civilian chair of the Community Police Advisory Board it's about 20 years ago. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. But I, as the co-chair, I interacted with the captain, Hollywood, it was Hollywood division, um, uh, more than you would otherwise. And I got to know a couple of different captains. Um, and so I, I and and I ran meetings, and we had uh, committees, and we did excursions into neighborhoods, and uh, the, um, uh, God, I can't even think of the name anymore, the police that are, are in charge of that area would, would know about it and talk about it or explore something that we heard that, that they didn't know about, and it was a long, it, it took a lot of energy. I was a volunteer. It was a lot of time and energy for definitely no money. Uh, and the police are not used to interacting with the community as equals. They're used to being paternalistic. They're used to being in charge of, like, like your mother says, no, you can't do this. Yes, you can do that. The police say, no, you can't do this. Yes, you can do that. So it, it, it sets up a relationship that tends to be father, a parent, child, as opposed to equal. Uh, and what we did during my tenure was to create situations where there was an equal interaction. And once they got used to that, it was very, very effective. And there, it, it certainly improved the relations between the community and the police and between the police and the community. But all that being said, just in talking to different policemen, interacting with them, police people, women, men and women, they really, I, I have to say, I, I, maybe not all, but if not all, just about all of the police that I interacted with felt that police, being a policeman was a calling. It wasn't just a job. It wasn't something that they did because, well, the pay is good. Because it, it's a dangerous job. Uh, you know, it only takes one time to boom, you're dead. So it's a dangerous job, even if most of the time nothing exciting, <laughs> exciting happens. So I, I, I just want to give the police that credit because clearly... Their dirty underbelly has been exposed. There are, and it's always, you know, isn't it always the case? It's a minority. It's definitely a minority of police that, well, you know, now that I think about it, it's a minority of the police in Hollywood. 
uh, or maybe in LA from my experience. I don't know about Minneapolis. Uh, they ha maybe had a different culture. But the culture of police is to take care of, and that's a kind of parental role. I personally like when it's a, more of an equal role, when we're both parents or we're both kids or whatever, both parents, that, that sounds good. But it takes a lot of work and a lot of volunteer work uh, um, on the part of um, the community and it takes a lot of patience um, in the part of the police. I mean, I, like I, I've observed that there's a large group of, uh, there's some large assembly. Uh, the police will uh, stay with themselves, but you know what? If you have a large uh, a group, grouping of, uh, of people, all the ministers and rabbis and and uh, uh, priests, they'll all stay together. They won't be with their flock. They'll be with themselves. It's like all the teach. I, I, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, when we had our Community Police Advisory Board meetings, we asked the police to stay with their um uh, I God, I can't even think of the name anymore. Uh, not the whatever their the, their neighborhood, and um, and it's it, because the more you interact with people, the more you understand them, and 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 the more you understand them, the less judgmental you are. I think. One of the things that may be different about this time is because in the ensuing years, more and more, there there is a more black and brown and uh, uh, all the, all different colors and races. I, I mean, if you look at the names of all all the people that are on television giving the news. The, the, the names are so entirely different than when I was a kid. <laughs> and it's wonderful. So the more there's a mix of us, the more we mix with each other, I guess is what I'm trying to say. The more we mix with each other, the more we understand that a father, whatever their religion is, whatever their color is, loves and cares about and works for his kids. It's, that's what fathers do. So maybe we can have a collection of when everybody gets together, all the fathers get together and all the mothers get together instead of uh, by race or other ways. Being, it was a wonderful experience First of all, being active in the community. And, and no, I didn't keep it up because I wanted to go out and make a little money and do some other things and be a, a, a relationship miracle worker. But I was active for close to 10 years and that's and, and, and effective. And uh, it, it's brought about a lot of change in Hollywood. Not to say <laughs> we don't have more to go, but um, I think uh, it was us at that time that helped get it started. And probably people before me said, no, it was us. <laughs> you just came in quarter the way on. So, I, I, so it's all a progression. It's all a matter of growth in the same way that we're growing up from, from a little kid to an adult. Maybe our society is growing up. Maybe America, maybe the United States is growing up. Maybe it's able to, to um, come to terms with some of the injustices. You know, if we did as the United States, what we say we do, where there's uh, justice for all and where there's opportunity for all, if we actually did that 
and live that without the prejudice. Do you realize what an awesome country we are? Because look, take a look at the crowds. Take a look everywhere. Take a look in your church. Everywhere in, in your workplace. We are a very diverse country with a lot of different kind of people. And uh, that causes some tension, but it causes such growth and creativity and it, the opportunity to meet really interesting people is, is tremendous. Um, uh, uh, that's, that's, uh, I guess I needed to, to share with you something uplifting, uh, uh, something that acknowledges that we're in a situation that's difficult, but that it's still a, an opportunity to, to give ourselves credit for as much as how far we have come and that we're, we're not stopped. We're still moving forward. Uh, and that, we, you know, the, the uh, government is a reflection of who we are as a society. So we have a lot of different kinds of people in the government because we have a lot of different people in society. And we can't just win over, this side win over, that side win over. Really, if we really want to win, we're going to have to figure out what's bugging you and what's bugging you and bring somehow, somehow bring that together. That's it. That's it. That is Merle's Pearls for Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon, I should say. And this is June... 2020. May I come back next year and say, look how far we have gone in just one year. Meanwhile, it's nice to share with you. Have a wonderful day. Things share. Be a part of it. The part that you find difficult to deal with. Do something about it. Participate in some way. Okay? Amanda. Bye, everybody.